Hello there. Welcome back to the channel. This is Nerd of War. And today we're looking at a bit more of a fun topic rather than all dreary and death. And that is about Henry VIII. Henry VIII, as many will know watching this, was the eighth king of England to be named Henry. He was also one of the Tudors and was one of England's more colourful kings. He was also very much a warrior king in many ways, spending his early life uh, training to be a soldier as his brother was actually the one who was intended to be king, while Henry being the second son was more expected to take over more military duties. But when his brother died, he became king. Such things happen in monarchies. Becoming king, he undertook many alterations in Britain. For example, he founded what is now considered to be the Royal Navy. Uh, with famous vessels such as the Henry Grace of Dure, as well as the more famous Mary Rose. He also built many castles and coastal fortifications in a more modern style, with angular pointed parapets and those things. He revolutionised the military, let's put it that way. One other thing he may not be known for is he was, for lack of a better term, a real-life Batman. Although in this case, Mace Man may be more accurate. This 16th century Batman would go out in disguise at night to wander about his city and his goal was to test his constables to make sure that they were doing their jobs. Most of the time this went fine. According to stories he would go out, he'd either cause a bit of trouble or on occasion may even prevent a little bit of trouble. He was all, his main goal was to test his constables, see if they were doing their job. And one thing he had custom made for this job was his so-called mace pistol. And that sounds as ridiculous as it really was, but it is a real thing you can actually go and view. I believe it's in the Tower of London. Basically, he had this big custom made mace, the end of which would snap down, revealing three barrels, which are three primer pots set a little bit back, meaning basically it had three concealed pistols loaded in the end of the mace that he could fire, as well as then club people about with a big spiky mace. An utterly insane weapon. One fun fact that according to stories I have heard, he was one time out on his little nighttime um, adventures, someone must put the Henry sign up in the sky, but one of his officers didn't actually recognise him and he ended up getting himself arrested and thrown in jail. A little while later, the constable who'd made this um, mistake realised the error of his ways, thinking that Henry VIII was at best going to fire him, at worst going to have him beheaded. He went to ask for forgiveness and of course released the king from jail. Henry VIII, contrary to popular belief, did have a magnanimous side and in this moment decided to show it. He did not punish this guard. Instead, he rewarded him with a handsome raise, congratulated him for the job well done, and then provided a load of food and drink for the people that had been having such a good time with in the jail. Bear in mind, the people he would have been locked up with weren't going to be the absolute scum of the earth. We're talking about drunken disorderly, maybe people that have been in a fight that have got themselves rounded up. We're not talking about the worst of the worst of the human racy murderers and other such things locked in a cell with the king. So he was there having a great old time and that's the story of Henry VIII, the real life Batman. The, and Elon Musk, eat your heart out. We're still waiting for you to put on the iron suit or the bat suit, come on. And we've got Henry VIII as the closest thing, but that is pretty cool as a story, isn't it? Not exactly a war story, but I felt it was interesting and it's somewhat military related considering Henry VIII was certainly a very warlike king. And that's putting it mildly. I just want to take this moment to thank you for watching that video. If you liked what you saw, please check out my social links in the description box below to Instagram and Twitter and others. And also is down there a link to my Patreon page where you can support this channel and the others as I try to grow this franchise and do this more regularly. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you for watching and bye bye.